Hello, this is George Summers. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about how tabs and tab stops work in Google Docs. First, tabs allow us to align text vertically, usually in columns, uh, in a certain way. So this is done by setting a tab stop on the ruler bar. That's a tabs marker. And if I click on this first line here, you can see I've got three tabs, three different kinds of tabs set up. This first one, represented by the right pointing triangle, is a left aligned tab stop. Everything in this column will start on the left side and move to the right. So everything aligns to that tab position. In th the center column, I have a center tab. Everything in that column is centered to the middle, aligned to that center tab stop position. This right column is right aligned. And so everything will stop at the same point, aligned with the uh, tab stop position that I have set here at five and three quarter inches on the ruler. If I go down below my table and I want to set up new tabs, you can simply click on the ruler bar where you want to set a tab. So I'm going to click on the number two on the ruler and I'm going to set a left tab stop position here. And that puts that right pointing triangle right there. If I go to three and a half, Let's go to three and uh, three quarters, and I'm going to set a, tenor, a center tab stop by clicking uh, on the ruler bar there and selecting the tab stop that I want. And I'm going to set one also at six and a half. So I'm going to click on six and a half on the ruler, and this time I want a right tab stop. So this would be this usually is used for setting up tables. And so if I press the tab, now, the tab key, it jumps my insertion point to the next tab position, which is a left aligned tab stop at two inches. So I'm going to uh, start typing my table. Okay, and I press tab to go to the next one. Press tab and it goes to the far right where I have a right aligned tab stop. I press enter, you will notice that the next line inherits those tab positions. Normally a tab setting only affects the line that you're on. And again, I can press tab and jump to the first line, first tab position. I can press tab again to jump to the next tab position. And these could all be left tabs, right tabs, center tabs, whatever kind of alignment you want to use. And when I press enter, now it goes to the next line. If I want to move a tab stop, I click on the line that I want to change. Or in this case, I'm going to select both of these lines and change them both at once. That's very important because normally changing a tab stop position only affects the line that you're on. So now I'm going to take this, line, this uh, left tab stop position and move it from two and drag it to one and a half. And now I'm moving my tab stop position on those lines. I can take the center tab and put it four, and I can move the uh, right tab position back to six. And because I have both of these lines selected, it will affect both of those lines. Otherwise, if you don't have those selected, changing a tab stop position only changes the line that your insertion point is on. If I want to remove a tab stop, I simply point, move the mouse pointer to the tab stop position, and I drag the pointer down and off the bar, and now I have removed my tab stop position. You notice it looks a little funky here, but that's because there's only two tab stops here, and I press tab to go to the here to go to the first tab stop position on that line, so it it pushes the rest to the next line. We can always fix that by put by putting our left tab stop position back in and now moving it back to where it was before and all is good. 
So that is how to add a tab stop, uh, move a tab stop, and delete a tab stop.